She has true power, and from what I heard, true ambition. I can see in your eyes that you are the sort who wishes to do more than just rot down here. If I read you true, find Erica. You teach me some alchemy? She smiles apologetically. I'm afraid I don't sell my secrets. However, there's a mage visiting who mentioned having some skill in alchemy. He's been staying around the bar. His name is Koenig. You might ask him. Oh, he's the guy who wanted to be alone. Okay, asshole. When are you expecting? In three months, I hope. Thank you for asking. I am nervous, as you can well imagine. What worries you? Motherhood is terrifying in the best of times. But here, in the underworld, I... She sighs. And yet, for all its misery, this is our land. And we don't have children. We have truly surrendered to the Empire. Alright. Well, let's try talking to Koenig again. Might be able to talk to us about alchemy or whatever. I heard you know something about alchemy. Alchemy? His dour face twists into a slight smile. Ah, oh, you must have been speaking with Jenny. What I was saying was that a man named Carl Kortath just found out some interesting new recipes using gray mold. If you're interested, last I saw him, he was in Fort Dovno. This was some time ago, however, and he said he was planning to head north, looking for some isolated cave far from the city, where he could do his research. Kortath had an apprentice in the Tower of Magi. She might know more. Alright. Did I get a quest there? No. Okay. Well, anyway. Let's enter this room. Guard. Okay, nothing good there. Alright, so we pretty much explored this area. Let's actually head out this way and look down here. This might be like a secret doorway in there or something. That might be useful. Oh yeah, so far. Yep. The button. Two people were brought into the Two people were brought to this open space in the walls of the city and murdered. Their bodies have been here for weeks. Very odd. Maybe someone in town would be interested. An iron dagger. Ooh. Sounds nice. Gold ring. Nothing else. Yeah, maybe we should go question some people. Okay, so I haven't checked out this house, actually. Oh, this is the city hall. Okay, this is where the mayor's at. Paul. A wiry, nervous man sits behind the desk. He has long, frazzled hair and an aggressively growing bald spot. I am Paul, he mutters. I am Mayor Steele's secretary. What do you need? Excuse me, can I speak with the mayor? I... I am the secretary to his lordship, Mayor Steele. If you have some business with him, you have to go through me. But he's pretty busy with his with this prisoner business. You'd have better luck in the library. Where's the library? Door on the right. Not much there, mostly records. He chuckles. But who knows? He might find a magic scroll. Anything is possible. And I'd like to speak with the mayor. Normally he loves to see people. However, the Nephrim to the north are holding some of our men prisoner. I'd only bother him if it's really really important. He's only been thinking about the prisoners. I'd like to know more about Contra. Then you are free to wander the paths of our fair, if war-torn city. As for me, I am busy. Excuse me. Well, I'm gonna talk to the mayor anyway. Who up my wiener? <laughs> A gray-haired man is hunched over this desk, muttering to himself. He wears impeccably clean wool cloths. God damn, I'm like spitting. <laughs> the sat or, or wool cloth probably recently arrived from the surface. A sash hangs from his shoulder, from his shoulder, and he wears a golden amulet around his neck. When you approach, he gives you a cold, calculating gaze. After evaluating how useful you might be to him, he says, "I heard rumors, wandering adventurers, a new warrior passing through our gates. I am Mayor Steele, leader of Contra." I may have worked for you. You're the mayor of Contra? Obviously. I lead one of the six large cities of Avernum, and the city closest to both wars against the Kitties and the Sliths. So if you will excuse me, I have to get back to my planning. 
There was much to do, and no time to do favors. Tell me about the Slids. Savages, barbarians, lethal, they control the land to the west beyond Fort Dranlon. And they are determined to kill us all. Much of the war against them is directed from within these walls. What sort of favors are asked of you? Since I am on the council, I at times have the ear of King Micah. Many ask me for a crown token so that they can enter the castle and see the king themselves. Such tokens are rare, and owning one is a true privilege. Uh, I would like one. I am sure you would. And yet, I am reserving one I own for when I need a favor of true import. If you need one, you should go north to Formello. I heard rumors the mayor there is looking for adventurers. Another question. You mentioned that you have work for me? Well, I got a quest to farm prisoners. He looks up from his work. The Nephilim and Nephilim have a fort to the north, on the far end of a lake. They've been giving us all kinds of grief. The biggest disaster happened about a week ago. They captured ten of our soldiers. We don't think they're dead yet, but who knows how long it would be before the kitties get hungry. I'll tell you something. If anyone could rescue the prisoners, we'd reward them well. You only want the prisoners rescued? That would be enough to please me. Nephilim are powerful warriors. I would not expect such a small force to fight such a number of them in their lair. Anything I should know about the Nephilim? They are strong. Very strong. If you want to rescue my soldiers, you should find a way to sneak in and not confront the beasts directly. Okay. Did you know that there are two dead murdered people in the East Wall? Hmm. I had no idea. I'll have the captain of the guard look into it when he has time. He calls in a soldier, who runs off to start the wheels of justice moving. I suspect that little will come of it, though. My best guess, Nephrim assassins. has happened before. Alright. No surprise. Was there a best man when I'm now? Okay. Alright. Cool. Alright. So, got that done. Check in here. Not as much of anything. Alright, cool. I guess we'll head into this little underground area now. I did see, like, that one book area. Might be useful to look at. Ooh, a secret switch. I like secret switches. Treasure chest. The box is full of scrolls, notes, and ledgers sent here from the Tower of Magi. It's quite a jumble, and a lot of pay appears appear to have been here for a while. The crude papyrus made in the underworld doesn't take long to crumble. You search through the stuff, looking for something that might aid you in your dangerous adventures. You don't find anything powerful, but you do find a book wrapped in a sheet of lizard skin. It's addressed to Miles of Formello. You take it. Okay. So we got a Cortra mage package. Oh shit, there's a guy named Tamus here. When you enter this small workshop, you see a stone pylon at the far end of the chamber. It's glowing faintly, highly charged with energy. It's so distracting that you run smack into the young apprentice walking out of the room. He is startled to see you. He says, I, I, I am Tamus. Uh, I don't think you should be here. Who are you? I'm Tamus. Didn't I say? Why shouldn't I be here? Because the pylon. It can be dangerous. Magic. Only those who have been trained should dicker with it. What does it do? It moves you. Around Avernum, very fast, portal magic eye. Maybe I should be telling you. Where can I get training? At the Tower Magi South. If they will teach you, they probably won't, no offense. I what? Oh yes, goodbye. He walks off to the south. Okay, good thing he's not trying to kill me. <laughs> Let's save. Let's save in a good little while. Okay, nothing good. Anything on the ground near here? Ooh, alchemical goodies. Healing herbs. Grab some of that. Alright. We don't know how to do with it, but someone will teach you one day. Where'd that guy go? He, like, disappeared. I guess he went through the portal or something. <laughs> Whatever, screw him. Is that all that's down here? Wasn't there like another... Wait, oh yeah, there was, but it was like blocked. Hmm. 
All right, so we have a couple more quests we can do. We can go Nephilim Encampment, Nephilim Prisoners, Fort Dranlon. That looks like it's on like an island, Slith Menace. There's actually one way the fuck over here too, Erica's Tower, okay. We ain't gonna be able to, be able to do that for probably a while. <laughs> okay, let's uh go to the encampment. Because we're slowly being followed by fucking shit. Where's this encampment at? It's actually probably across this river, it seems. Okay, at least they're pretty much stopped following me. Um, let's actually see. Uh, it's called something. Yeah. Small group of Nephilim inside Camp Northwest Contra. Our hostile must be driven back. D is done for the mayor. Okay. Yeah, we can do this. Okay, where are they? Aha. Uh -huh. Probably right there. There's actually some lots of people over there too. We meet a loud, boisterous band of Avernite soldiers. Their armor and weapons looks like they've seen a lot of use lately, but their actual bodies are free of wounds. They're a wild, loud, and lethally competent bunch of fighters. When they see you, they greet you with great cheer. After offering some of their harsh mushroom wine, they ask if they'd like to buy some loot they've taken from dead sliths. Let's move on. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Oh no. We're in battle. Shit. Okay, cave worms. Shouldn't be too difficult. Awesome. It isn't. Good. Oh yeah. Wrecking. Venomous worm. Alright, that was simple. Bring it on, bitches. Ooh, is this the Nephilim encampment? Now entering Central Vernum. You are in territory that is subject to a fierce contest between the humans and the Slisaraki. Thus, it is a real surprise to find a band of Nephilim here. Tempting attacks from both sides, there are a lot of them. Probably the only reason any of them are still here. When you approach within view, several of their archers immediately leap for their weapons. Their leader steps forward. Arr! We are the warriors of the split tail. This land is ours now. Depart or you will be shot through with arrows. You back away. The Nephilim are relieved to be spared in salt. Return to their cook fires. Hopefully someone will drag them away before they are joined by their fellows and have time to build the fortifications. Okay, I actually did that because I wanted to save before I uh, attack them. Alright, let's walk back and walk forward. So gotta walk far. Attack! Ooh, there's actually quite a lot of them. Oh yeah, there's shitloads of them. Okay, this might be fun. This will be interesting. I might have to <laughs> Okay, uh protection. You will summon the beast. Okay. Yeah. Damn, okay. Quit it. Oh, wow. Okay, he's actually still alive. That's actually surprising. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, let's actually not do that. Um, this area is dangerous. Load. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna kill them yet. This area actually seems like it might be too powerful of an area. Let's actually retreat. And oh yeah, because they did say this place was full of uh, full of uh, the powerful enemies. So we probably don't want to go that way yet. Let's take this little diagonal pathway. Learn a bit more. Let's see what's over at this encampment. Find an abandoned campsite. There is a human body here, heavily decomposed. He or she died violently, probably killed by something with a large teeth and claws. A stained and slightly rusty sword sits on the ground nearby. Let's take it. Got a bronze short sword. 
surprised. It's not a rusty short sword. If it said it was described as rusty. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's just go up to this town. And do things. Okay, what we got here? You enter the proud city of Formellum, trading hum of all of northeastern Avernum. Even the constant warfare of the Nephilim can't entirely dim the buzz of activity going on around you. You take a moment to listen to the haggling of the merchants and smell the giant lizards. For a moment, you can almost pretend that you're in one of the cities on the surface, except for the fact that everyone is deathly pale and always afraid. Okay, I've got a bunch of archers ready to kill me. If they so desired. on the ground. There's actually a, like a cave here. It's actually not go down there quite yet. But I know it's there, for reference. Another statue. There's nothing good about them, really. There is a large natural underground spring here, pouring out of a huge crack in the rock surface. This spring is the life blood of this town and the surrounding area. Iron bars have been placed blocking off the springs so that nobody can tinker with the source. Okay. That is wise. It's very wise. I like how they describe the world so well. Whoa, look at that magical barrier. All who enter must be tested. All who challenge your will be slain. I was hoping I would be able to leave. It looked like I was trapped there for a moment. City Hall. We're gonna enter. Ooh, this actually looks like a, like a king's area. Evelyn, or Evelyn. A fidgety woman in a lovely blue dress sits in the gilt cavewood throne. She flips rapidly through the papers on the table next to her. She wears a sash of office made of silk. The cloth must have been brought down from the surface. The moment she sees you, she jumps to her feet. A traveling adventurer. Yes, recently arrived from the surface. With effort, she calms herself and sits back down. I am Mayor Evelyn of Formello. I have sent word out to the lands that I am in business of hiring adventurers. I'm glad you have responded. What can you tell me of Formello? It is glorious, is it not? Largest city in northern Avernum. Center of culture and trade. She seems impatient and... She seems impatient, doubtless eager to return to work. Culture? Be sure to visit our library. It has books. Trade? We are on a major caravan route. Iron crystals from Fort Draco pass through here to the south. Finished goods come up in return. How may I be of assistance to you? A month ago, my gold necklace was stolen by the Nephilim. That may not sound like the cause of great concern, but it was actually a powerfully enchanted item. I believe that it has been taken to their fort to the west. It is a huge fort. The necklace might be anywhere within. If you can get my necklace and bring it back, we will reward you very, very well. Why is this necklace so valuable? It is no mere trinket. Each mayor of Avernum has one. They enable us to quickly receive messages from the castle. Carrying messages by hand through the underworld is intolerably slow. How did it get stolen? A Nephil assassin somehow slipped into the city. We still aren't sure how. He broke into my chambers, tinkering while I was asleep. Or thinking I was asleep. I was not. I ran and shouted an alarm. His plan foiled. He fled, but not before taking the neck before he took the necklace. She thinks. Of course he may not have wanted to kill me. He may have wanted the charm all along. How will you reward me? If you return my necklace, I will give you the greatest honor it is in my power to give. I will give you a crown token. That token will allow you to walk into Avernum's halls of power. I will do what I can. Be assured that I am grateful. Excuse me, I must return to work. Alright. Townsman. Okay, doesn't want to talk. Hidden door. Uh, you think there is a concealed control room, but you can't figure out how to get it to work. Okay. Okay. Can't use that secret button. Okay, whatever. Let's just 
Fuzzy one. 